Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and in today's episode I want to tell you about creating a link to our Power Automate flow execution and sending this link in case anything goes wrong and there is an error and you want to inform someone you can create a direct link to this flow execution. You can send it uh, by Teams or by email, your choice. You can use HTML and we will uh, look at how to create such functionality. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I created a really simple flow, which I will just manually trigger. And then I will create a variable uh, Boolean uh, on which value I will give something which is not right and it will generate an error. And after the error is generated, I want to send this uh, to this flow execution link to a, a certain email. Okay, so let's start. Let's create a scope action. Control. And here, this action I want to configure to run after the, the initialize variable failed. Cool. And here I want to do a compose. Okay, and in this compose expression, I want to uh, go with the workflow function, which will cover up all the details about our flow. Okay, so next I want to send an email. Boom. Okay, classic one. Two suggested people. Yes, this is me, this is my Outlook. It will be visible out there. Let's go with the test error. We'll, not, we'll change nothing here. And in here, I want to create a link. Okay, but I don't know how. So let's not, first of all, let's do effects and let's test our flow. To see what we got in the comp the um, workflow action. Okay, so let's run, run the flow. It's done, cool. So now let's duplicate this for a moment. And what I've got in my workflow versus... Sorry. So what I've got in my workflow is, is this. This is my flow execution. So in order, if you want to to go back to your HTTP address with your flow execution. As you can see here, we've got the details about the environment, which is default and there is a, a, a GUID of our environment, then logic flows, and there is nothing. So this is not sufficient to go back to our, our specific flow, because if I go and click enter, As you see, I'm I'm navigated back to to the to the all flows page. So what I need to do is to check how this link is visible in the Power of Automate section. And in here we have the initialized variable. This is this is our flow execution. Great. And as you can see here, the link is much more detailed. We have the name of the environment, flows, name of the flow, and runs, and name of the run. Sorry, not name, those are GUIs, the unique IDs. Okay, so first of all, I can copy this. This is cool. I can copy this, edit my flow, and go with, with this here. Then I can check if my compose action with the workflow also grabbed the environment and it did environment is in the section tax environment name okay so let's let's get it i will use the expression the outputs of our compose actions then we have the 
uh, what was that? Tags. Cool. And after the tags, we had the environment name. Cool. So this will grab our environment name. Then slash, and we want to grab grab the flows and this number. Okay, so we have the flows and 848 C6. This is this number. It's logic app name. And what I did not yet know why in the run ID in the workflows we have the different number. I cannot I don't know why why we have we have it this number. It's but it's not, it's not the same uh, number as this one. So it will be the logic app name. Okay, so let's grab it. Let's grab it in the same manner. And then we have the runs and we have the run name, which will be in the run name. Okay, so we'll grab the outputs. Outputs from compose from tags and from logic app name, right? It was logic app name hop. Okay, and runs and the number from the compose Oof. sorry the outputs <laughs> from compose now oh, this is how it ends if i'm coding a real in real time so what was it it was in the runs and in the runs it was under the name name uh, sorry run name okay run name cool we have a link so first let's try it let's go and test it. save manual <laughs> let's run the flow We have some kind of a link. Let's test it now. Plunk. Oh, something is not working. It's not this one, this one. Close, runs, close, runs. Okay, so let's compare it. Yeah, I forgot the flows. Okay, let's go back. Pick, pick. Let's test it again. Sorry for wasting you 10 seconds. But I want to show you how the process is without any cuts. I made mistakes as well. Cool. Let's grab it. You hop, hop, hop. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a we have a working link. This is one thing, but two things which I want to consider now to to get this uh, flow a little bit tweaks. So first of all, remember the two subject should be in either in an environment variable or saved in any kind of dataverse table, so you can set it to different environments different people because here this is the hard coded this is not the approach you want to do you want to have this based on environment or based on your selection from the dataverse table so remember to use the the correct data here and now i want to what i want to do is to grab it this link to be a little bit prettier and grab it and uh, just write the word link and uh, have the 
the the hyperlink and enabled not force user to copy and paste the link okay so first of all we want to click here because this will start a, a html tag versions of your email and without this if you will use an angle brackets there will be only saved in the string version of the angle break brackets so you what you need to do is to write an a ref mm. then you want to save your link this is it you want to close the brackets you want to open the brackets you want to end the, your function here and in the this section you can give a name so let's go with the link let's check it out yeah let's test it hop hop run the flow and hope for the best oh i have a link is it working yeah it does okay so we have a working solution on on your flow details you can send your flow details details uh, to anyone you can for example if, if you have a team of admins you can you can send them a link to to failed flow and somebody may grab it this will uh, streamline your your response and it will be probably faster this is how you should do it actually in my opinion instead of just sending a generic email with your with that uh, the fact that flow have failed in this this way is much quicker much more user friendly okay so we have working solutions with Fukowski out hope that helped if it did you can subscribe like etc i've got many other videos on my youtube channel so you can check those with power automate power automate desktop power apps power platform everything microsoft connected see you later